I am standing in front of the autographed baseball collection to end all autographed baseball collections, and the guy who owns it is donating it to charity. I don't even know where to start. Some of these are just, they're unreal. Like This is Ben Numerdor from Cedarburg. I'm a pretty big Brewers fan. Not a, I wouldn't say I'm a mega fan, but yeah, I, I'm a pretty big Brewers fan. He might be downplaying his fandom a little bit since he has more than 900 Brewers autographed baseballs. One from almost every player who has ever played on the team going back to 1970. You know, Carlos Lee, everybody love watching him hit dingers all day long. I started probably about 20 years ago trying to collect the uh, 1982 team. I thought it'd make a nice display piece in one of the rooms I had. And from there, it just got out of control. From Hank Aaron to Christian Yelich, all the players you've never heard of and all the team owners. But now, while about 27 players away from completing his ultimate Brewers collection, he's donating all of it to Children's Wisconsin. You know, this is something that the fans should own. This is something that the city of Milwaukee should be able to get to, and it just shouldn't be sitting in somebody's basement. It will go into their sports medicine clinic in Greenfield. The time spent there is usually for, you know, not the greatest reasons. And a lot of people, when they are in that kind of situation, if they could just have a break and, and get away from it for just a few minutes. Because for some children at a sports medicine clinic, it could be inspiring to hear stories about local sports heroes. And I thought this would be just something really cool for uh, a family to sit down and somebody to tell stories about, you know, Yount or Braun or Yelich. So how did he get all of these autographs? Well, one way, he would reach out to players on social media and then send them a ball. I found events like Coos for Kids, um, Brewers on Deck, things like that, where uh, you can go and, uh, you know, say hi to the players and, and get their autograph. And As for its valuation, local memorabilia shop AJ Sports Collectibles estimates it could be worth around $30,000. In Cedarburg, James Grow, TMJ4 News.